Quinn Matthews, stand for starting pitcher, went all nine innings. He he was he was great uh, with the season on the line, but he threw 156 pitches. I'll say that again: one five six, 156 pitches, which is a number that you know maybe 40, 50 years ago people didn't blink at. Well, now that's a hell of a lot. A major league pitcher has not thrown that many pitches since the 90s. Um, and a non-knuckleballer hasn't done it since Roger Clemens in 96. Obviously, Roger Clemens at 35 years old is a bit different than some college kid. And, and here's here's a long and the short of it. I'm not one of these guys. Keith, Keith Law is really against this on Twitter where he'll come out and say, has to be 100 pitches or less. Uh, we should never go over that. I, I understand these college teams are chasing something. The college kids are chasing something. They want to be out there. Uh, they want to they go an extra inning in a big game. And, and I understand that. But – we've got to draw a line somewhere and I'm not qualified enough to tell you exactly where that line is, but I, I am damn sure that it is less than 156 pitches, particularly when your team's up by five runs in the ninth inning, why are you getting run back out there? Uh, there are scientific links between pitchers, certainly younger than college level, but also at the college level, throwing that many pitches and having injury troubles down the road. Ben McDonald in our own backyard is a perfect example of this, who, who really was just, I, mean, I hate to use the word abused, but he was overused by by LSU and then had tremendous shoulder and elbow problems throughout his major league career. It was cut short because of that. We see it over and over with Mark Pryor. Uh, we saw it with Steven Strasburg. These guys get overworked in college. They get to the pros, and, and their arms break down. Um, and so I know there's a lot of variables here, but at some point the kids are going to want to go out there and say, yeah, yeah, I can go, I can go, I can go. We all felt We all felt invincible at age 20 and they want to go out there and continue to throw, someone's got to be the adult in the room. And I personally suggest the damn adults be the adult in the room. And the Stanford coach needs to know, hey, 120 is enough. You gave us the lead. Great job. We've got other pitchers who can take us to the finish line. And you know what? If our other pitchers can't take us to the finish line, then we don't go to Omaha. We didn't deserve it. We're not, we're not a one-man team, and we're not going to throw some guy 150 pitches. And I hope LSU never does that with Paul Skeen. I mean, the guy's got a bright future. Don't throw him 150 pitches in Omaha uh, ju just to see if he can be the hero and ruin his future. 